Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the biggest Algerian football platform in English on the planet. This is a video I wasn't expecting to make, but I am delighted to make a Mehdi Lloris, the Algerian international, moving to Stoke City. Now before I talk about the move, right, well I suppose this is about the move, people saying that this is a step down, that Lloris is making a step down moving from Sampdoria to Stoke-on-Trent. Now maybe in terms of the, <laughs> the living, in terms of the the luxurious Italy to, to a Tuesday rainy night in Stoke, maybe. But club-wise, for me, it's a step up. I mean, some of the viewers might be too young to remember Stoke City, a regular, regular site of Premier League football. I know they're in the Championship now, but trust me, they had the likes of Shakiri, Arnautovic, Bojan was there, and with Shawcross at the back, although everyone hated it, didn't they? Because he broke Aaron Ramsey's leg, or it wasn't his fault. Begovic in goal, I think he scored once. It's a good side and they're trying to get back in the big time and they've made some really interesting signings this summer. I mean, I was really interested when they signed uh, MMA, the Moroccan, and now they've got Mehdi Lloris. Now, great bit of business, great price tag. Um, obviously, Sampdoria were relegated to Serie B and in their first game of the season in the Coppa Italia, the Italian Cup, Mehdi Lloris actually scored in that game. So he's actually one goal, one game this season for Sampdoria. Just turns out he's not playing for them again. Um, I'm excited by this move to Stoke. I think it could be a good pathway for more Algerian footballers to make their way, not straight to the Premier League, but to the Championship and work their way up. You look at Larussi going to newly promoted Sheffield United. Of course, Sidebun Rahma started at Brentford when they were in the Championship. Ultimately, Brentford got promoted, but he actually got a move whilst Brentford were in the Championship, I think, to West Ham. So, yeah, it's going to work out well, hopefully, in Charlotte. Now, what about the player himself? Stoke are thinking they're going to get a, a flary bad half Spanish winger in their ranks. Well, of course now he's an Algerian international. Uh, what is he, half Spanish, half Algerian, born in France, playing for the Algerian national team. Been a big part of squads recently, been featuring in Algeria squads as a full international. Of course, expected to go at this moment in time to the Africa Cup of Nations in January, which of course means Stoke missed out on Lloris for five to six weeks in the January, February period, depending on how far Algeria get. But uh, that's more intense than you think for the championship because, of course, they're playing three games a week uh, in some instances, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. So big blow in terms of that. Interesting, like I say, they got Ryan MMA, or was it his brother, one of them, and then they've now got Mehdi Lloris. Interesting transfer strategy. Of course, these are internationals, although they're not relatively world-renowned. They are internationals. You, you're not just known mug to be a, an international footballer. It shows a bit of class, uh, a bit of creativity as well. So really good move. I think Stoke are getting a bargain. The only thing I'm wondering is where is he going to play? Because yes, he's, he's played left wing, he's played right wing a lot of time with Sampdoria. For the Algerian national team, where we've probably watched him on most occasions, he's played as a right back. Are Stoke going to use Mehdi Lloris as a right back? Well, if there's any Stoke fans, they can allude me to their current right back situation. I mean, the last time I remember a Stoke right back, I think it was Glenn Johnson. But... Um, I'd, I'd be surprised if he played at right back in the championship. I think he's got the ability to hurt teams offensively in an attacking sense as a winger on either side he can do um, in this league. And that's what I'd like to see. I think he'd be a waste at right back, but also if Stoke brought in a winger that started playing right back, don't be alarmed because clearly the Algeria manager has seen something to suggest that Lloris can play as a right back. Now the jury is still out on that. Of course, Yusuf Artal is injured for Algeria many upon a time. Kevin van der Kerkhoff has come in. Mitchell Weiser from Bremen has been linked. But I think Lloris can really express himself in this league. He had a poor season last season, but Sampdoria did as a whole. You look at that club, it's a big club. Big name, Sampdoria. One of the big European giants from the 90s. And um, shocking that they came last. They barely won a game. And uh, in that sort of situation, it's very hard for any player on that side to express himself. And also, I think Lloris has more than enough quality to play in a a top division in any of the top five leagues in Europe. But um, also, if he's playing with under par players with respect to who Sampdoria had, it's not going to reflect well on him. So he's putting crosses in five to ten times a game. Not really his fault if no one's getting on the end of them. But overall, I think it's a great bit of business. Obviously, clearly better going forward than defensively, as we know, if he's, if he's a winger playing right back. He's versatile. He can play in a number of positions. And uh, looking forward to hopefully going up to Stoke to, uh, to watching them a couple of times, or maybe if they're playing in London away, not Millwall, because I'm never going there. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, good luck to Mehdi Lloris at Stoke. Clearly more Algerians coming into English football, which is always good to see. Of course, Guardiola has been a mainstay of the EFL. 
You've got Ryan Colley, who's now made his debut for QPR. You've got LaRoussier, Nouri and Ben Rahman at this moment in time. Playing in the Premier League, Michael Elise is still eligible for Algeria as well. So um, good to see and hopefully the first of many and also build the pathway for more to come. But it shows good ambition and uh, yeah, I'll be looking forward to see how Stoke get on this season, rooting for them in the Championship. So do you think this is a good move for Lloris? I think it is. I think it's far too good to be in Serie B, with respect to Serie B, playing, you know, pizza and ice cream away. Um, really good level. We've been playing teams like, you know, Leicester, Saints, Leeds, um, West Brom. Coventry, so it'd be, be interesting to see how Lloris fares and really see if he can make a claim because he's got to fight for his place at AFCON. He's not assured of it, he's got to fight for it. And that means at club level, obviously for the Stoke fans as well, he has to perform at the Bet365. So let me know your thoughts in the comments down below on Lloris to Stoke City. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. I'll see you next time.